Good day everyone. My name is Idris Abdullah. On today's on physics today we'll be talking on battery and electroplating. So at the end of this video, students should be able to explain about battery, the types of battery, electroplating and its uses. A battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cells with external connection for powering electrical devices such as flashlights, mobile phones and electric cars. When a battery is supplying electric power, its positive terminal is the cathode and its negative terminal is the anode. A battery is usually composed of a series of cells that produce electricity. Each cell has three essential components, the anode, the cathode and the electrolyte. When the anode and the cathode are connected by an electrical conductor like a wire electron, electrons flow from the anode through the wire to the cathode creating an electrical current. Why the electrolyte conducts positive current in the form of positive ions or cations? We have different types of battery. We have we have primary batteries or single use or disposable batteries. These are used once and discarded as the electrolyte materials are irreversibly changed during discharge. A common example is the alkaline battery used for flashlights and multitude for portable electronic devices. We also have secondary or rechargeable batteries. Can be, it, this can be discharged and recharged multiple times using an applied electric current. The original composition of the electro electrodes can be restored by reverse current. Examples include the lead acid battery used in vehicles and lithium ions battery used for portable electronics such as laptops and mobile phones electroplating electroplating is basically the process of plating a metal onto the other by hydrolysis most to prevent corrosion of metal or for decorative purposes the process uses an electric current to reduce the soft metal cations to develop a lean coherent metal coating on the electrode the process used in electroplating is called electrodeposition. In electroplating practice, the current is usually introduced from an external source and the anode is the positive electrode and cathode is the negative electrode. What are the uses of electroplating? From enhancing the appearance of substrate, it is used in various uses. Some of other common applications of electroplating involves 1. Improving wear resistance to improving the thickness of metal surface three enhancing the electrical conductivity like plating a copper layer on an electrical component number four minimizing friction and number five improving surface uniformity in conclusion a battery is a device consisting of one or more electrical cells with external connection for powering electrical devices such as flashlights mobile phones and electric cars electroplating is a process that uses an electric current to reduce the soft metal Dissolved metal cations so that they can form a thin coherent metal coating on an electrode. These are exercises for you to practice. Number one, explain battery. Number two, list and list and explain the two types of batteries with example. Number three, what is electroplating? Number four, what are the uses of electroplating? You can send your answers or inquiries to Jim Smith at edifice.ng. Thank you for listening.